hello guys i'm so excited to be welcoming you to this amazing webinar my name is sean balogun sami i am the team lead at sales exponential so welcome once again to this webinar where i'm going to teach you exactly how you can make a hundred dollars using a very simple system that almost every in short every celebrity uses but they have no idea that's what they are using and you will be using and adapting this system to sell digital products and make your first hundred dollars okay so sit back and relax it's really gonna be amazing you're going to love the fact that you actually signed up for this digital webinar all right so firstly what is this system we're going to be talking about and the system is called the digital sales surplus system or ds3 so ds3 is a system i discovered in late 2020 i have actually said i started actually applying parts of it in uh, early 2020 but before that i seriously failed with sales okay so a little background story about me i entered the online space in 2017 i started with uh, um, a affiliate marketing are more of a uh, drop shipping than affiliate marketing and i was just failing and i was trying so many different things i tried uh, drop shipping it really became so wacky i couldn't sell anything i had a lot of products and nobody was buying and it was really wacky it was really sad i lost money because i didn't really know anything about it i was just jump jumping ship whatever worked today or whatever i saw somebody else doing i would just try to do it and it always failed it really really always failed i left dropshipping i went into uh, i went into content production in late 2018 i think taking my first course had to do with animations i made a few sales after that things went sale i guess it was like uh, things went pale sorry i guess it was like the beginner's luck or stuff like that okay it was really really sad and um i did a lot of things i tried making these i tried telling people to buy even my close friends didn't want to buy they just gave me thumbs up and comments and said wow you're doing well okay so really really nobody wanted to buy i ran ads i spent a lot of money running ads and really no one wanted to buy so it wasn't until um, june i think it was june in june in 2020 i began to discover that it's actually different selling on social media than selling using your traditional ways of selling google um, advertising platforms name them okay they are actually completely different when it came to social media there was something special there that made people buy and you either had it or you didn't have it and i didn't have it trust me i didn't have it because i didn't know what was missing i didn't understand the background behind how social media worked and i guess that may be the same problem you've been going through and that's why you keep pushing your products in people's faces and they are not willing to buy because um whatever you're selling just looks like you're trying to force them to buy something even though they want they can't really trust you even though they trust you they are not sure you can deliver so it's a circle of you know just refusing to buy your product so when i came up with the digital sales surplus system the ds3 it was really amazing it, like a new door just opened and i saw that wow this is actually what every celebrity is doing name the celebrity just name them this is what they are doing to make millions and millions and billions of dollars this is how it comes and then the wise business companies have seen what is happening and have adapted it to sell in social media okay so now there are two before the normal method of selling was called the AIDA okay AIDA AIDA A stands for action I stands for interest D stands for desire sorry A stands for attraction I stands for interest D stands for desire and the last A stands for action which means you got to attract your person you've got to create that interest that intrigue in the person you know, I, that's your ideal customer you got to create that interest you got to make them desire the stuff whatever you want to sell and you've got to make them take an action to buy that stuff now that worked very well on traditional methods but when it came to social media that completely sucked 
we found ourselves most marketers like us we were running money a lot of ads and our ad was converting at less than 0.1 percent it was really really poor and i'm sure you've been through that before you've put your products in people's faces and no one is really buying today i'm going to tell you exactly how you can sell and the sweet part about this system is if you can sell making a hundred dollars you can sell a million dollars so hang on to your belt so what exactly is the ds3 it is a system i've generated that celebrities use to make sales uh, if you've ever noticed you've noticed celebrities don't tell you buy my music they simply tell you my music is coming out so, so they and the moment you hear the music is coming out so, so they it drives you nuts now when it drives you nuts immediately you start waiting for that day you start following the celebrity you follow them on instagram they open a new twitter account you go there if they close on a former facebook account you leave it you just following them step by step every step they take why do you do this because you love them and there is a reason why you love them and that is what we are going to be adapting to business today second thing you're going to learn from the DS, you, uh, the ds3 also helps you to figure out exactly who is your ideal customer okay it's one thing to just um have a customer and just talk to everybody around such as when you're using the traditional means everybody you are you're actually trying to hit on everybody when you're using a billboard but of course not everybody is interested in whatever yourself you put on the billboard so how do you put how do you know your ideal customer so that instead of your ads hitting everybody wasting your money you can narrow it down to that one percent or that 0.5 percent of people who actually need what you're selling <laughs> so that is where the ds3 comes in it also enables you to give those customers exactly what they have been looking for by creating um awesome products awesome value giving them exactly what they need giving them something that makes them know that okay you are actually their guy you are actually the person they need okay so that is one more thing you're gonna believe that the ds3 helps you to achieve now it helps you to package your solution in a way that looks like an expert it looks like you are an expert in the topic all right for example let's say you're a tailor the ds3 can help you create packages of your solutions in a way that makes everyone think wow this must be the guy who sells clothes for beyonce or this must be the client guy who sells biscuits clothes you get the drift it makes you feel like it makes you look like an expert so the ds3 will help you create packages like that okay the ds3 also makes you a celebrity now you must be very very sure that whoever sells, sells uh, sorry whoever sells clothes for the celebrities are also celebrities you can they are also yes there might be minor celebrities but they are also celebrities someone like um david o might not will not go to um let's say a normal tailor on the street to sew his clothes whoever sews his clothes for him i mean his traditional wears now a very very high class designer sort of sought after by maybe other celebrities as well you get the drift so it makes you a celebrity in whatever niche you choose lastly using the ds3 i will be showing you exactly how you make hundred dollars or more in 30 days or less without any stress so let's kick on so how exactly will the ds3 be helping you make your hundred dollars firstly we will be identifying your highest paying niche and ideal customer this is so 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 super important i cannot overstress the importance of this because if you fail to have a target then you'll fire of course but you will miss you will not have any are you it's as good as firing blanks of course if you do not have a target you're gonna miss and when you miss it's going to be so sad where you're going to just waste bullets it's just going to be a waste of bullets okay we will also be teaching you how to write directly to the heart of your customers in the in this uh the, using the ds3 system you will write directly to your customer you will tell them exactly what they want to hear exactly what they need to hear that proves to them that you actually know what you're talking about and you are the best person for this you will also create amazing products that actually solve their solve their issues why because we will teach you you'll be learning in this video how to niche down how to go down to your specific niche and establish and dominate that niche so because you're dominating a niche you'll be able to solve one specific burning problem for the customer and solve it so well the customer does not have any other choice but to really 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 be really happy that they met you okay 
you also learn how to sell to fewer people okay and make more money it's not you selling to a million people and collecting for one naira you're just gonna make a million naira and the stress of selling to a million people will actually literally kill you okay so lastly you're going to know how to become a sort after celebrity okay now the reason why i put a hundred dollars because it is very very easy i could put a million dollars i could put ten million dollars it's going to work the system works irrespective of the amount you want to make it is highly easily scalable but a hundred dollars is because i'm trying to reach out to the beginning to people who have not made anything online who failed the way i failed before i found success and i want them to believe that this is possible okay and this is why i made this video for you okay so once you know how you can make your first hundred dollars then making your first one thousand dollars making your first one million dollars is children play all right so let's move on okay so the first part is going to be how can you identify your ideal niche sorry about that the best the beginning part of anything is targeting i always say what is your target you have to identify your target money what exactly do you aim to be how much do you aim to have in how long do you aim to have this money and what are your strengths so let's start with the first one what how much exactly do you intend to have let's say i intend to have a millionaire and i intend to have this millionaire in um six months okay i have to now know what products can i sell what are my strengths where am i good at what skills do i have so when I figure out, okay, I have a strength. Let's say I want to make, uh, I want to make um, dr uh, dresses. I want to sew. I'm a tailor. I sew dresses. So how can I make a millionaire selling a correct a dress? Now, if I made dresses to sew, sorry, to sew a cloth will cost around, let's say, for your normal tailor, four thousand naira, five thousand on the profit. Now imagine doing that for. I have six months. Six months is exactly one hundred eighty days. Assuming I took uh, two days to sew each clothes, I will be having um, 90 days each. So 90 days, assuming I don't rest, nothing comes in between. I sew for 90 days, two, two days, I'm sewing one cloth. Okay, so for 90 days I sew. If I say 90 days, I have, uh, uh, sorry, I have 90 clothes which I've sewn. Now times 5,000 5, 5, on top of each cloth, I should probably make a million, right? I'm not with a calculator here. But now imagine the stress. Can you actually do that? No. It's very, very difficult. You must eat. You must do other things. You have days in which you will not sew and the rest like that. But imagine I upped my price. I started selling to a different class of people. I started making a different class of clothes in which maybe for a single piece of clothes I sew, I made 100K in profit, pure profit for a single piece of clothes I sew, I made 100K. How many clothes do I need to sew? to reach one million just 10 even if it take me 10 10 days each to sew one cloth it's just 10 i need to sew okay so and i'll hit the money faster and easier than that so that is what we call targeting so the first thing you're going to do is to know how much money you want the second thing you're going to do is to know how much time do you want to end this money and the third thing you've got to know is to know exactly what product what strengths do you have that can earn you this money what skill okay now you can figure out your strengths and skills using the SWOT analysis sorry this is a typo I'm very sorry about that this is actually a typo is the SWOT analysis s w o t the SWOT analysis stands for strengths weakness opportunities and, and threats you can look that up anywhere using that you can figure out where your strengths are your strengths talks about what skills do you have okay what skills are monetizable what skills are valuable that you have okay your weakness talks about what skills where you well, where in your skill your problem lies you might be very good at computers but you might not know how to repair them once a computer gets bad that is a weakness on your part now it's not necessary that you know everything of course but it's very very necessary that you are upping your skills every time and upgrading them that is why we say you work on your weakness okay your opportunities and the trends in the market what's actually happening right now right now the world has grown digital if i'm a tailor i will definitely try to bring my products digital what do i mean by that i won't just keep my shop i won't just stay in my shop and say hey i have a signboard outside whoever passes outside can see me no 
whatever i saw i'll upload them i'll create a page i'll do several things for people to know and all those things you'll be learning here in this video all right now one of the ways in which you can do this is to make a list of niches from your strengths you can now make a list of niches and then you dig deep into these niches and find sub niches a niche is a very very specific area of the market for example someone who sells baby clothes is a niche is, is that a baby clothes is a niche is a niche of the market of sewing and sewing is a niche of the market of fashion and fashion is a niche is a is fashion is a sector of the economy okay and, and that is a, a part of the industry of clothing okay it's part of the industry of clothing so i moved from niche to market to sector to industry so the industry is actually the widest and then the sector is a smaller part of the industry the market is a smaller part of the sector and the niche is a smaller part of the market okay so but what i want you to do is to figure out a sub niche for example going back to our baby clothes i might sew baby clothes but i can decide hey i want to sew baby clothes for celebrity babies bam that's all that is a very very typical sub niche and i will make a lot more money dominating that niche than just selling clothes for babies you see the difference right now the last part is you're going to be creating your ideal customer avatar um we're going to talk about that in the next slide okay sorry about that we're going to talk about that a little bit more okay so creating your cost ideal customer avatar it's actually very tricky uh sorry very very it's tricky because it requires you to go into the heart of your customer finding out what they desire what are their biggest fear what do they want to achieve where have they failed before what have they tried before where did they get their information from and digging really deep into who is the right person to buy your product now when you get all this information using research you find on google facebook groups and some other tools which you will be learning in which you will be learning in our advanced program we have some other tools which you will learn and templates which are actually made available for you you will figure out exactly how to identify who is the right person that not only wants your product but can pay you at the price you put okay so let's go into the next part how do you write how do you tell your customer that look i have this product I have been in the shoes where you are and I understand what you need and I'm the best person who can actually give you what you need okay this is what we call writing to the heart of your ideal customer <coughs> now some other people are copy call it copywriting some other people might call it content writing we are all correct because we are mixing both of them and we are mixing both copy and content writing into what I call copy educational writing okay copy educational writing is a way in which you can build a relationship with your ideal customer for god's sakes your customer does not know you he doesn't trust you he or she has no trust for you so the first part of it before you sell is to build your relationship and that is where the new system of selling came in the old system which i mentioned before known as ada no longer works in short has never worked online due to the huge amount of scams people feel you're about to scam them so what the new system is called the a d r i a okay known as the erda so this new system has the a d r i a starts as action desire relationship interest sorry attention desire relationship interest and action so in this system you build a relationship with your ideal customer and how do you build this relationship by giving them something for free not just anything most people just give out anything for free you see a lot of coaches saying hey, let me hold a free class and i'll just teach you one or two small nonsense which is not actually valuable for free okay and when they just do that giving you something that is not actually valuable for free and then they now push their product in your face yeah bye 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 and that's very very wrong because it does not work but that is a, that is the idea they usually give you something for free by giving something valuable for free your ideal customer is like wow how can you give out so much value for free like who the hell does that 
this value sometimes your free value might solve their problem and it's the best if your free value can solve their problem completely sometimes it might solve just a part of the problem it doesn't matter give out for free that's how you build a relationship now how do celebrities do this i'm going to go a limp here and really show you how celebrities do this when you follow a celebrity on his page what are they always doing they're always uploading their life funny interesting stuff they're doing with their life every day they're uploading one thing or the other that gives you this emotional connection to them they either upload a short clip of their upcoming music uh, something they did yesterday a new dress style they use something of value that speaks directly to your heart so because they're doing this every day you fall in love with them and the moment you hear their music is dropping you run directly to go and buy this is exactly the secret to selling online this is a secret to selling on social media because social media when you are there your mind is conditioned for relationships not to remove your atm wallet so but if you found somebody who is already having a building relationship for you you can easily send him money to buy his product because there's a relationship being built it's different than when you walk into a shop when you walk into a shop you're not looking to build any relationship you're looking to buy something but on social media you are not looking to buy something you're looking to build a relationship so that is the difference now name any online coach who is making success in sales and you will find out they are doing exactly the same thing I follow John Abidi a lot. I never understood what he was doing until I understood the process and the system of the DS3. John Abidi drops so much free information almost blessed day, almost every blessed day to the point I was like, this information I could sell them for a million bucks. How does this man drop it for free? It drives me crazy. Then I got to understand that this was the system that he was using and that's why he could do that. So by doing this, a relationship became between John B.D. The moment John B.D. says, buy this, I rush and buy it. Because I already see he has given so much value for free. And you will find out when you take his courses that most of the things he has already said in his free value, he just polishes it in his courses. It's the same thing. But yes, there is always a difference between what is free and what is not. So you give out value for free. That's exactly how to build a relationship. The second part of building this relationship with your customers is educating them. Like I said, when you give out a value for free, something that can actually solve their problem, you can do that. Solve whatever problem they have for free. You have different levels of clients. Some you might not solve it from the free perspective. They might not be able to get the entire solution. And we need to take your advanced paying courses. But some might have been able to get it and grab it from the free. That's very okay. But the idea of giving for free is that you have been able to build trust. So when you're writing your ads, your ads should educate them on the problem and the solution. By educating them on the problem and the solution, they already feel that this guy is an expert. He knows what he's saying. He has a problem. He has a solution to my problems. So because you already have the solution to my problem, why the hell can't I remove my money and buy? This is how you build relationships with your clients. If you take off the DS3 program, which we are going to be telling you at the end of this video, you will find out that there's actually a lot and very simple way in which you can actually take, uh, you can actually help your uh, solve problems for your for your potential customer. All right. So let's move into the next part, which is packaging your solutions into celebrity products. Now. The mistake many people tried doing before was to create an all-in-one solution. This was really, really terrible. It makes this it was wacky. I don't know how to explain that. It's very wacky. Now, the idea behind packaging your solutions into celebrity products is to ensure you find one really, really, really deep concern of your audience, of your customer, and solve just that one thing let that thing help them solve a particular most burning problem and because you're doing that on that one thing you are an expert your product is an expert solution it's not just anybody giving them of course a jack of all trades is a master of none this is a very common saying so the second part of this system 
of creating celebrity product is to use what is known as a tripartite product system. In a tripartite product system, what you actually do is create different levels of the same solution. For example, you might give like a basic, okay, let's say you have a product on a, how to sew suits. You have a product, you want to create a product on how to sew suits. I use tailoring a lot because it's a very common uh, uh, job, it's a very common work in Nigeria, so I use it a lot. Now, let's say you want to sew suits. Okay, so you might have three different products on training about how to sew suits. The first could just be a basic video on how to sew suits. The second could be, let's say, a subscription video where they get more in-depth knowledge on how to sew suits. This is a different package. And the third could be a one-on-one -on -one coaching on how to sew suits. Now, you have created three products from the same product. But the major thing is you are majoring in how to sew suits. So that is what we call a celebrity product. You will learn more about this in the DS3 system. Now, this is the third part, which includes selling. It's in this part, you get to dominate your niche. If you don't dominate your niche, then it's really just terrible. You have to dominate your niche, otherwise someone else will dominate it. So when you pick a sub-niche, be the very best. Be the number one name that comes out. When they mention sewing of suits, your name should come out. Okay, because you are always proving, pro, uh, providing free value. You're always doing stuff, putting your name out there, putting stuff out there. So people get to trust you a lot more. And that is how you dominate your niche. Okay, so dominating your niche is not a one day something. It's something you do over time and it's something you do consistently. Then, now let's go into the crux of the matter. How exactly do you make $100 selling digital products now let's assume you created a digital product the first step you're going to do is to provide free value okay so what you're going to do to provide free value um is your is going to depend okay your digital product is going to be dependent on your price any price is okay so let's say i'm selling my digital product for ten dollars each now to make a hundred dollars i just need to sell ten of my digital product right but not everybody will remove that ten dollars to pay so let us zoom off see my ideal customer i've understood how my ideal customer works i understand that he's capable of paying me ten dollars and that is why my product is ten dollars so i know i just need to get ten of my ideal customers so all i really need to do is to run an ad let's say my product solves some um, okay let's say my product teaches them how to format their phone i'm just saying that out of the top of my head this product teaches them how to format my phone so who are my target customers my target customers are people who want to learn how to format their phone by themselves okay and they are capable of paying um let's say a working class person he earns about um maybe 200 dollars 300 dollars every month that's perfect because he, he doesn't mind spending ten dollars on something that is actually giving him problem so two hundred dollars three hundred dollars every month that's okay so because of that he can actually remove ten dollars and pay that's about um uh ten dollars is about one percent if i'm correct or 0.5 percent so he can actually pay that uh, uh sorry that's about five percent sorry about that he can actually use five percent of his salary to solve whatever pressing problem he has <laughs> Now, I run an ad, I teach them so much about the phone, so much about things that causes the phone to be lagging, so much about things that makes the phone to need formatting. Okay, by simply doing that in my ad, I'm running this in my ad. By simply running this in my ad, he sees me as a professional and whatever I tell him is very important. And if I tell him this simple video will teach you how to format your phone without stress, instead of going to go and pay $50 in, uh, in the, what do you call it now, to the person who will repair your phone, you could do it yourself and save yourself $40 by simply taking this. Then I add what is known as the Godfather offer. By adding my godfather, if I can tell him, if this process does not work for you, you will get your money back plus a brand new phone. You can imagine how many people rush for that. Like, if it doesn't work for me, I'm definitely getting my money back plus a brand new phone. Come on, everybody likes free stuff. Now, this is where you add the godfather offer. 
nothing will make you sell better than adding your godfather offer okay so with that instead of selling for ten dollars simply because of my godfather offer i can sell for twenty dollars i can sell for forty dollars what someone else is selling for ten dollars because i have made myself an expert number one i have proven that i can solve this guy's problem number two and number three i have a mad offer that makes everything i'm selling irresistible so these are some of the ways in which you could do that so all i need to do is to find 10 people and it's very very simple let's assume other people are selling the same video for like the same information i got everything but they are telling you, hey, look, I got a video that can teach you how to format your phone. Buy at $2. And you keep seeing that every day. I have a video. There's no proof that this guy can actually deliver. So you can imagine the difference. <clears throat> now, this is what we know. Uh, this is known as a celebrity code. And this is what we help you sell. I've already spoken so much on this. The idea of the celebrity code and the story and the, uh, the value, uh, sorry, the technique behind it is the idea of giving value whatever niche you are give value about it every day okay um there's this there's this kid known as uh, ryan 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 gosta i can't remember his full name right now um ryan does toy reviews he started off as a joke on youtube doing toy reviews when he was a little kid He's still a very little kid, but he's the richest, one of the richest kids in the world on YouTube. What he does was from giving value, other kids loved watching, and he was able to monetize his YouTube account. And he's an expert. Now companies run to him. The moment they're making, he has so many deals with so many companies. The moment they make a new toy for kids or upgrade an old toy, they run to him. Hey, Ryan, make a video with our toy. We'll pay you a so million dollars to do that. And they pay him. He is extremely rich. Please check him out. Um, YouTube toy reviewer kid. Check him out. You will know more about this guy. It all started from daily value given. So that's what you're going to do. To build that celebrity status around yourself. Give value every day. This is exactly what your celebrities do that you do not know. But if, you've, if you're keen and you've taken attention, you will find out that they speak to you every day. And this is why you love them. Now you have options which you can do. You can build a group on Facebook, you can build a page, you can go live, you can create webinars like this one, and so many things. <laughs> now if you would love to know more, if you would love to see how you can actually use the celebrity code, and how you can actually use the DS3 system, read on, find out more about the system. We have a February challenge, and it's just going to cost exactly... ten dollars now if you feel like you have learned a lot in this video and you can actually see that we know what we're talking about i know exactly what i'm talking about because i've been in your shoes so i know where you're feeling and i know why you're feeling and i can tell you just as i have in this video exactly why you're feeling and from this video alone you can solve whatever problem you have and fix yourselves but if you feel you need more expert coaching then join our program, read to the end, join our program called the February Digital Sales Challenge and improve your sales. Make an effort to improve your sales so that you don't only make $100, you make a million dollars. So join our February Sales Challenge, Digital Sales Challenge and be part of this growth. And be part of this growth, okay? So I'm really glad you've stayed with me to the end. My name is Sean Balogun Sami once more, and I'm happy to have met you. Thank you.